in Gmail, we use labels instead of folders, and that's a little bit different than other email programs. So the first thing that I'd like you to do is on your left-hand menu, click on More, and find the All Mail folder and drag that into the top part of the list, and do the same with your trash. You can also find any folders that you may have created that you use frequently that you might want to be easily accessible and drag those to the top of the list as well. And any that you don't think you'll use very often, you can drag down to the bottom of the list and they'll remain in the compressed folder. So you'll only have your most important items visible on the screen at all times. Now in Gmail, there's technically three mailboxes. There's your all mail, which has everything. It will have anything that is not in the trash or not labeled spam will be available in your all mail folder. So if you're searching something and for something that you're not sure where you labeled it or where you put it, you can just go to all mail and use the search box at the top of this page. You can also filter your mail to have it viewed you know, by date or by recipient if that's easier for you to sort through. The other um, mail folders would be your trash or your mailboxes would be the trash and your spam. Anything in trash or spam will not show up in the all mail folder. Okay, so let's go to the inbox. The inbox is really a label as well as everything else in this list is considered a label. And a label can be kind of used in the same way that the term folder was used in Outlook. So in my inbox, any new message will automatically be given an inbox label. I can also click on a message and I can categorize it by labels by clicking on the little labels tab. And these are labels that I have already set up or I can create a new label. So I'll create a new one called Amy. I can make this a sub label, kind of like a nested folder if I wanted to and make it sort of like a sub heading under a different heading. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to uncheck the box and click create so that Amy is now its own folder here. Now, one thing that I can do is I can click the three dots next to it and I can label it with a color. So I could say my Amy is a, labels are going to be purple, whereas my computer ones are orange. And then also, if I wanted to delete this label, I can click here and say remove label and delete it. And that would just delete the um, label itself. So when I'm in the inbox and I add a label to an item, let's say I'm going to also add this to the computer. And I'll say apply. So now you'll see that this has three labels. This message will be available now in all three of these labels when I click on them in the menu here. It's not a different message, it's the same message, it's just available in different areas. And this is just to help you organize your mail. Um, your starred items, these are any items like from your inbox, you can quickly star items that you deem important, maybe that you wanna get back to, and they'll just automatically show up in your starred folder. Those snoozed items, these are items that you maybe, um, you know, snoozed and they're gonna scheduled to pop up at the top of your inbox later. Your sent folder is every message that you've sent. Um, your scheduled would be messages that you've scheduled to send at a future date. So you can see those here if you have any. I don't have any at the moment. And then obviously trash is everything that you've deleted. Please keep in mind that Google does automatically empty your trash um, and some of your folders if they haven't been used after 30 days. Those messages um, from the trash that are emptied will not be available again. So you wanna just keep, a, keep track of that because it will automatically empty that after, like if a message is 30 days old, it will automatically be permanently deleted unless you've given it a, a label. Um, if it's sitting in your trash, it will be deleted. Okay, so labels are pretty much how you're going to organize everything. And you'll notice when you go to All Mail, you can quickly scan and see which um, labels 
are applied to different messages, so where they're located. So this is just your way of organizing. Um, and using the term labels is going to be similar to using the term folders. But the thing that's nice about it is you can put multiple labels on the same email message, so it can be available in different places and not just be stuck in a single folder.